Hello everybody and welcome to fourth webinar organized by Advances. 21st June is celebrated as World ALS or MND Day. With this in mind, I, Dr. Sachin Kadam, CTO of Advances, will be talking to you today on ways to improve the quality of life when one diagnosed with ALS or MND. Ice bucket challenge activity involving the dumping of bucket of ice and water over a person's head to prompt awareness about MND went viral on social media during July, August 2014 and we all got aware about the MND. So what is this MND? MND stands for motor neuron disease. MND is also referred as a myotrophic sclerosis or ALS. In short, where a myotrophic literally means no muscle nourishment. MND or ALS is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Named after famous baseball player Lou Gehrig who developed this disease in the year 1930. We all know Stephen Hawking, a famous scientist who worked in area of cosmology, who is also a MND victim. In MND, either upper motor neuron sends signals from brain to spinal cord and get affected, or a low, lower motor neuron which sends signal from spinal cord to muscles die based on which part of a motor neuron gets affected, the symptoms differ, so the nomenclature. About 3,50,000 people in globe have MND at one given time. The condition is slightly more common in men than women. Age group 40 to 65 are more vulnerable to MND, but that does not make other group non-susceptible. It has been estimated that the number of ALS cases across the globe will increase from 2,22,000 in 2015 to 3,76,000 in 2040, representing an increase of almost 69%. As of now, we do not have medicine that can cure MND completely. With no medication available, MND has become fatal disease. MND or ALS is a irreversible and progressive disease that affects nerve cells in brain and spinal cord. MND is a fatal disease. Patients usually die within 3 to 5 years after diagnosis, primarily due to failure of respiratory muscles. Our brain sends signal to muscle and its voluntary movement through nerve called motor neurons. These motor neurons connect brain with uh, the muscles via upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron. Lower motor neurons are directly connected to the muscles. Although ALS or MND muscle stops functioning but muscles are not the one who gets affected. Instead motor neuron detach from the muscles and die because of which patient loses control of movement and eventually ability to breathe on its own. This caused the death. Cause of ALS is unknown but it's believed that random mutation in chromosome number 21 can lead to ALS. Although in ALS or MND muscle stops functioning but muscles are not the one who gets during the first stage of ALS, many people don't even realize they have problem because symptoms can be subtle. The person will notice simple things like having trouble writing, picking up small items, walking and so forth. In normally one body part first then another and so on gets affected in MND. Early symptoms of ALS includes following muscle stiffness, muscle weakening, muscle cramp, twitching, problem in chewing, swallowing, slurred, and nasal speech. Over time, the symptoms increases and become obvious. Then there is a serious problem. 
the symptoms and the rate of progression of the disease will vary with each individual depending upon upper motor neuron dysfunction or lower motor neuron death. But in the end, patient no longer able to use their arms and legs. We all know that stem cells are mother cells of body. These stem cells possess ability to differentiate into different lineages of the body including nerve cells. Use of stem cells for treatment of ALS or MND have shown a ray of hope. Over time, this at advances, we perform either autologous stem cell therapy or allogenic stem cell therapy based on requirement of patient. In case of autologous therapy, stem cells are isolated from bone marrow and abdominal fat. Bone marrow is collected by lumbar puncture while adipose tissue is collected from abdominal area. The visceral fat is collected by doing small insertion in abdomen area. These collected fat then transported to the laboratory where stem cells are separated from fat cells. These separated stem cells either from fat or from bone are then reinfused into patient. In case of ALS, these reinfused stem cells go to the damaged nerve where the nerve supporting cells are dead. They convert themselves into these supporting cells and rejuvenate the entire nerve. This is one study we have performed at the advanced cells. Hi, uh, I'm Sudhindra. I'm basically from Bangalore. Now I'm residing in Rishikesh. And my livelihood uh, is actually I'm a financial investor. And I know I came to know about advanced in YouTube. I'm suffering from motor neuron disease. And I have this disease since one year. Then I got uh, into more research about advanced cells and one person came into contact with me Ms. Tarni. She explained me about advanced cell process and all. And uh, today, the day before yesterday, I got the process. Yeah, everything got explained and I feel a bit comfortable, very comfortable in the source. Yeah, everybody was cooperative, very cooperative. I used to rate it 5 out of 5. Yeah, definitely I'll refer as advanced cells especially. Yeah, advanced cells is uh, uh, one of the best I think in India. You know, because the, uh, the staffs are cooperative and the hospital they treated me is very good. Main thing is cleanliness. That's it, sir. So remember, although MND is considered as death sentence, one can change the fate of MND by using stem cell therapy. Don't allow MND to mark you, rather you make a mark on MND. Thank you. The forum is open for discussion and question answers. Okay.